Here at Denby High School, we take a strategic and embedded approach to the use of technology for learning. We hope to show, through this range of evidence submitted by students and staff, some of the impact it is having. T is for teachers and teaching. Technology across our school is used in a variety of ways, but the one thing that provides the consistency is the joined up approach that the school takes towards it. We can put all of the school improvement priorities on the system. Then what that means is when staff are setting their own personal objectives for the year, they can link it to the school improvement priorities. The tracker that we use um, is bespoke and tailor-made to our purposes. For example, the KPIs that we use have been embedded into the tracker. One of the reasons we decided to uh, buy into the use of GCSE pod was our knowledge of the access that our pupils had to smartphones. 95% of our pupils at Denby have access to smart devices. We are using SIMS to record behavioural concerns that we have for pupils from lesson to lesson, but also to reward pupils by giving them a two or a one on the register. That few 5% without the access at home can also use it in school as well, so it was a very accessible um, medium that we were able to display across the school and kind of embed um, as a strategy within whole school thinking. E is for everyone and also for e-safety. The reason why CPOMS came about was that we needed um, somewhere centralised to record all issues to do with children and that includes everything, that includes medical, that includes um, any issues of bullying that we may encounter um, and of course child protection. Here at Denby, e-safety is an exceptionally important part of what we do. We believe that it is about education for the pupils, education for the teachers and of course education for the parents. B is for curriculum and also for cutting edge. In this department we've pioneered the use of mobile devices as part of our teaching. Uh, we've used the green screen quite a lot in the history department for various different activities. The one that we used it the most for, we found it the most effective, was for the centenary of uh, World War One. The BenQ projectors, along with the app that we've downloaded for our department iPad, enables us to video pupils and then show that video instantly onto the projector. Using our smart boards and interactive whiteboards, we can edit pupils' live work during a lesson and evaluate it as a class. I've been using an app called Plickers in my classroom which allows me to assess uh, pupils' uh, progress instantly. H is for homework. We've got this idea of more of a flipped learning culture within our classrooms so that pupils can go away and prepare something and come to lessons with, with their own ideas readily prepared or their own background research solidly there to help them extend their learning within the classroom. N is for numeracy. As with literacy, the digital use of numeracy is embedded across the curriculum and not just in mathematics. O is for oracy, to speak clearly in front of the audience, like me. I'm Hassan. And I'm Shayan. We want to talk to you about a massive community of young people. Before apps are good, I wanted to work with tech, but now I've been in apps are good, I, I'm even more motivated to go for a tech job. L is for literacy. Another way that we use GCSE Pod um, is not just within English section, but quite often we would dip into other areas like history. One of the, the main assessment objectives at GCSE English is to be able to talk about historical context. So if you're talking about Shakespeare, sometimes it's useful to go and have a look at some of the videos on the Tudors. Oh, it's for opportunities and there are lots of them. Every week, a group of us have come after school to contribute to the success of the masterpiece you see before you. Ask yourself, what are you passionate about and what problems do you want to solve? Now that you've seen what's possible, go out and create your own destiny. G is for Google. Within PE, we've also been using Google Forms to increase the number of Key Stage 3 homeworks that we're able to send out and mark effectively. We also use Google Classroom across the, the whole computer science department. We use it for a mix of reasons, just because the students can access work from home. It also allows automatic savings so students have no chance of losing work or saying that their dog ate it or whatever. And by using Flubrew, the add-on which actually marks the homework for us, it enables us to get a really good idea about pupils understanding and their progress. And why it's for 
It's pupil-led. Why? Because our pupils are at the forefront of the use of technology within the school and they also have that teenage um, dynamic to add to the situation. They are, they are as current as you can expect um, anyone who's working at Microsoft to be.